Hello, lightworkers and beautiful soul family. Welcome to my podcast, The Spiritual Alchemist. If you are new here, please take a moment to listen to my other episodes and for full access to unlock all of my chapters, all my episodes from the very beginning, please take a moment to subscribe and become a member. It is only $4.99 a month. You get all unlimited access. And I do work as a psychic advisor and spiritual guide to assist you on your spiritual journey. So if you need a psychic reading or you need spiritual guidance, please feel free to reach out to me at 1-855-356-4000 and enter the promo code IRIS777 to receive your special discount. You can also visit me at pathforwardpsychics.com or for private readings one-on-one, send a private email to me at starlightpriestess at yahoo.com. All right, you guys, so let's get started. This new episode is all about July 2024. This is going to be your astrological forecast for the month of July. So we have a lot happening, you guys. We just had the 7-7 portal that just opened up yesterday. It was at its peak yesterday. It is the Sirian Gateway Portal, bringing in a lot of light code activations and ascension. We're leveling up and evolving spiritually. This is so exciting for the collective. And there's just a lot happening on an astrological level. So there's going to be a lot happening cosmically this month of July. So make sure that you're resting and you're sleeping and you're just being patient with yourself and others at this time, you guys. So I will be informing you on what astrological events are taking place and how you can manage it and benefit the most from these astrological influences. So the month of July begins with Neptune. The planet Neptune rules Pisces. This is about illusions, okay? It can be addictions we have, negative self-behavior patterns, negative ways of thinking, but Neptune at its highest point represents unconditional love, expansion, compassion, dreams, imagination, turning your dreams into reality. It can be quite magical. It's very otherworldly, but it can be quite also dark, illusion and deceptive as well. So it's tricky with Neptune, you guys. So this month of July is beginning with Neptune retrograde at 29 degrees of Pisces, just a few days after Saturn went retrograde also in the sign of Pisces. Both planets are going to travel backwards through the sign of the fish, offering us an invitation to reflect on what is dissolving in our lives and what effort is required on our part to materialize our dreams in the 3D physical reality. All right, so we don't want to get lost in confusion, illusions, lies, deception. We want to make sure we're keeping our mind clear, focusing on inner reflection, meditation, spiritual practices. This is going to benefit you and be key during this time. July 2024 is a powerful shift in energy collectively. So as we experience a gradual shift from cardinal water energy to fixed fire energy as Mercury, Venus, and the sun are leaving cancer and moving into the sign of Leo. This is going to create a very powerful, magical shift. It's going to allow us to leave our comfort zone, open up to the world, and consciously choose to participate in life. So we just also experienced a new moon in cancer on July 5th. And we have another full moon in Capricorn, this time at 29 degrees of the sign uh, and conjunct Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius. So there's a full moon in Capricorn, the second one on July 21st, and it's going to be conjunct Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius. Okay. So write that down. If you guys need to, that's going to be a very powerful transit and full moon, deep insights into our emotional and psychological makeup is allowing radical transformations to take place. And next we have that Neptune stationing retrograde in Pisces and Mercury, the planet of communication and travel is entering the sign of Leo. There's a lot happening. So Neptune's shift invites us to direct our energy inward and question our existing approach to inner and spiritual exploration. So this Neptune transit is important. It's going to help us redefine our relationship with our spiritual practice 
and our spiritual values and also redefining uh, our intuition. Okay. Really focusing on listening to your intuition and being guided through your intuition. And the planet Mercury is entering Leo. This will bring a shift in your thinking and communication and how we express ourselves with more confidence and creativity. We will need to share our ideas with the world and embrace new opportunities. Leo symbolizes the fifth house in astrology. This is all about creativity, expression, being center stage, your personal power, confidence, enthusiasm and being artistic so now is the time in july to focus on creative projects or endeavors that allow you to have self-expression in the form of language writing and speaking venus the planet of love beauty harmony romance and relationships is also entering the sign of leo on july 11th 2024 so very soon in the next three days, we have Venus entering Leo. This is going to bring a desire to be seen and appreciated for who you are. It's allowing us to value celebration, creativity, and authentic expression. It's a great time to reclaim our connection with our radiance and childlike enthusiasm and be joyful. So Venus and Leo, you guys, this is about valuing our own creative expression and the power of being playful, innocent, childlike, and to experiment and make art for art's sake. And at the end of July, on July 21st, we have another full moon in Capricorn, and it is conjunct with Pluto at zero degrees of Aquarius. This will facilitate facilitate revelations and emotional transformation, as well as insights about structural changes that need to be made in our inner and outer lives. So this is a chance for you to mature and get better at discerning what is our responsibility and what is not. The full moon in Capricorn invites us to release defense mechanisms, layers of protection, and unconscious strategies that we employ to indirectly have our needs met. Okay. You could also say manipulation. Okay. Many of us manipulate people situations to get our needs met in some way. Also, many people put up defense mechanisms or layers of protection when they don't want to be vulnerable. Okay. So there's a need to really break through these habits, break through this energy and all of the planets are entering Leo are, they're going to oppose Pluto and Aquarius. So this is highlighting power struggles and control dynamics, especially in relationships. So we need to gain awareness of how we manage the dance between fear and desire when it comes to being seen and being in the spotlight and being authentically and creatively expressed. Last but not least, at the end of July, we have the sun moving into Leo. We're going to be in Leo season. And this is reminding us to nurture our own creative impulses and keep that inner flame burning and invest our energy in what gives us energy back and what we are passionate about and brings us joy. The sun in Leo is about exploring our creative urges without expectations, without goals, and without seeking external approval. So this is all about allowing you to connect with your inner child, your playfulness and joy, and it's reminding us to celebrate life and ourselves. So this is going to be a powerful month in July. Many astrological influences and transits are stationing retrograde, which is really about you know, taking things slow, being patient, being practical in your approach to life. And, you know, with that Neptune stationing retrograde in Pisces, Saturn being retrograde in Pisces, this is allowing us to lift those veils of illusions and confusions, you know, seeing through rose colored glasses. We need to really see the truth of ourselves, be honest with ourselves and be honest with others. So that veil of illusions is lifted and we can see things more clearly and focus more on working on our spiritual selves and being in our creative power. So this is going to be a beautiful month in July, you guys, and I'm sending you so much love and light. Happy new moon in cancer. We just had the new moon two days ago, and then we do have a powerful full moon in Capricorn at the end of July. So this is going to be an amazing month for all of you guys. So thank you so much for joining me on my podcast, The Spiritual Alchemist. Please take a moment, you guys, to subscribe 
subscribe to my channel, share this episode out to family, friends, or loved ones, anyone that needs to know what is happening astrologically in the month of July. And if you need a psychic reading, please feel free to reach out to me at 1-855-356-4000 and enter the promo code IRIS777 to receive your special discounted offer. You can also visit me at pathforwardpsychics.com. Enter that promo code to get your discount. And I'm looking forward to connecting with more of you. I will see you soon in my next episode. Namaste.